Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Just got this box in. Um, this is something that somebody sent me to try to take and um, straighten out. I'm looking forward to doing it. I've had pretty good luck. And the picture I saw of this one looked really, really cool. So let's get into it. It's nice to be outside. We got one day of it not raining. The rain will be back tomorrow, tonight. I'm just hoping there's no styrofoam peanuts. And there ain't. It's just the horn. Woohoo! Okay. It's an original railroad patina. Got a RS, RSU3L. Parasipony Chambers. It's got the tag on it. Looks like it's a brass tag. Very nice horn. And the issue with this is they can't get the bells out. So I'm going to show everybody um, what I found that works for me on getting the bells out. So I will be back at this tomorrow morning. I'll see you tomorrow morning. And we're going to pull the chambers off it and take and um, put some deep creep on the bells and say a prayer and let it sit. So until then, we'll see you tomorrow. And down here in my dungeon, as you can see, it's another damp, rainy day, about 35, 36 degrees, heavy mist, pretty raw. Um, I got this RSU 3L, and the bells are stuck. I pulled the chambers off, and um, I'm going to start with a little bit of patience. That's the only way you can do stuck bells. You've got to take time, you've got to have patience. Don't rush a good thing because you'll end up either mushrooming over the end of the bell and it'll never come out or um, break or bend the manifold. Eh, you don't want any of that. And this horn, um, I want to do this hopefully without hurting the paint. I want to keep this you know, 100% original. Um, it's factory primer. It has been on the road. It's got plenty of dirt and diesel soot on it, but it's a beautiful horn just the way it is. Now I'll keep it that way. Here's what we got. It's called Deep Creep. It's made by Seafoam. This stuff, um, this is the best stuff I've ever had used for um, getting bells apart. Anything that's corroded and stuck, this stuff is unbelievable. You just want to take and so you're going to do this without creating shadows. This one's already moved a little bit, but it's still, it won't go any further. So you just let it run in, soak it. Get this one, backside, same thing, hit the backside. Up around the crack here. Now I'll come back in a couple hours, you know, whack it again, and then um, let it sit overnight. And we'll come down tomorrow morning and um, see what we got. I've had them really, really bad. This, you know, I'm kind of amazed that they, they couldn't get the bells out. Because if you look, the ends of the bells, there's no corrosion on them whatsoever. So it's kind of weird that they won't they won't come out. I did get the four bell to bounce back and forth just a little bit, but it's stuck right there. And I ain't gonna force it. I'm gonna let the good old deep creep take and do its job. Doesn't take much. You don't want to use much. This stuff's like 14 bucks a can. But it's does an excellent job. I've had horns that the bells have been stuck to the point of like, oh my god, no return. And 
sprayed them, let them sit, sprayed them, let them sit, still couldn't get it. Um, I warmed them up, heated them up, and um, sprayed it again, let it sit overnight. The heat draw the, the deep creep in, and they tapped right out like nothing. Now, one of the little tricks that I've learned, if you don't want to wreck the paint, is you heat the inside of the bell. Okay, just let the heat go through here, and it doesn't hurt the paint. Yeah, it might get a little bit up on top, a little bit, a little, little, little charcoaly, but you, you got to use the heat, and then now stand the up so the bottom of the bell is facing down, and while it's hot, I dump ice water down through it, and that shrinks this really, really quick. This pat, it'll shrink it up, and it breaks the um, corrosion, and the bell comes out a lot easier. I've had good luck doing it that way. Um, but that's kind of where we're at for now. We're just going to let it sit and uh, do its thing. And we'll see what happens. I'll spray it again today. And um, I'll see you tomorrow morning and see if we can get this thing apart. Until then, go have some lunch and enjoy the day. See ya. All right, the rain finally stopped. We're out here to get the bells that are stuck in this RSU-3L out. They've been soaked with deep creep. Sprayed it twice. Been sitting about 24 hours. This is the hammer that I like to use. It's got a softer on this end, a little powder nylon on this end. Got it at Home Depot. It's made by Irwin. Um, it does a really nice job and it doesn't mushroom out the back of the bells. So, let's see what we got here. 44 bells already a little bit loose. Let's give it a knock and see what we can get. Look at that. Okay, you can see how wet it is. That deep creep penetrated right into the bell without a problem. Here's the 44 bell. Now we got to do the 25 bell. This way, stand it up, see what happens. That yeah, moved a little bit. with it but I can't pull out the 31 bell until I get the 25 bell out. Give it a couple more I'm gonna go get some heat. Well that worked the 31 bell come loose. 25 bell stuck as stuck can be. I'll be right back. Okay, got my trusty map gas. Warm it up a little bit. I want to try to get it warm enough without really. Come on. There we go. I don't want to burn the paint if I can help it. Sometimes it doesn't take too much heat. You want to work on the thin, the flat spots.
warmer. See what happens. That is in there tight. Okay, I'm going to spray it with deep creep and let it sit overnight again. Alright, we're back at it again with heat again. And in that yellow pitcher there, I got some ice water. Get it warm. It's starting to get bubbling, coming out of between where the bell goes through the manifold, the deep creep heating up. Bubbling pretty good between the bell and the, the manifold over here. That's one thing. Corrosion works better than Loctite. Getting warmer. It hasn't got too warm yet because the paint's not burning. I don't want to burn the paint. Not if I can help it. Yeah, I wanted to do this today because we got more of our beautiful Cape Cod weather coming. Got some rain coming tomorrow, tonight, and then switching to snow for Monday. Okay, what you want to do, I'm going to stand this up, I'm going to take this pitcher of water, I'm going to cool down the bell. Back here, I'm going to try it again. Wow, that one is in there. It's separating. You can see it, it got a little separation going. Heat it up, no sense of Alright, back again. Been soaking with deep creep. I heated it up, it sprayed it, it sucked it in.
This one's in there tight. seconds of an inch. I'm going to heat it up again. We'll be right back. Okay, I got it hot again. Get some water down through it. Crank the inside of the bell. One more time and we'll have it. Let me get it hot again. Okay, let's see what happens this time. Hot again. straight didn't burn too much of the paint you can see the corrosion that was in there it's weird I'm looking in here and there's all the corrosion the deep creep got in most of the way on that but there you have it amazing like I say corrosion is better than Loctite now we got it all apart and that is how you get a pot a stuck bell and a Leslie manifold I found that works the best heat it up dump ice water down through the bell and use a hammer like this and it works great. It doesn't mushroom the end of the bell. I got a horn once that somebody sent me. They couldn't get the bell out. And they must have used a three pound sledgehammer to try to drive it out. And what happened was when they did it that way, it turned the bell, that go, pot that goes through the manifold into a rivet. And it mushroomed it over and it swelled it up on the inside. And the only way I could get it out was I had to cut the manifold, put a split in it, and take the tension off, cut the end of the bell off, even with a manifold, and then get it out. But I found this works the best. Ice water, heat it up, ice water, heat it up, ice water, heat it up. It's hard to save the paint if it's like 
CSX blue or something but the primer itself takes a lot of heat before it gets nasty so there's that part of the now we gotta clean it all up and get it ready to put back together <laughs> 